Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come on here today and just um, let you guys know about my stillbirth story. So, why I didn't know I was pregnant, um, many reasons. Um, I've kind of always had like a really wonky cycle. Like I could go, sometimes I only have my period twice a year, sometimes three times a year. Um, so it was really rare. Um, kind of when I started starting seeing my now husband, um, we, um, um, I didn't get my period, like, very often. Like, I got my period usually pretty regularly before. Um, but then it just started, um, diminishing uh, around the time I started, I moved in with him. So, it probably was probably about nine years ago. Um, so then I would only get it, like, every two months and then every three months. And then it just kind of kept going and depleting. So when we got, I know, so about a year and a bit before we got married, I went on birth control and that regulated it. And, um, I had really massive cramps the first month I was on my placebos and I had my period for about a month and it was really scary and it was really like, I don't know. Yeah, it was really bad. But, um, anyways, um, and then, um, after on our wedding day, actually, um, Tima, you might know, nobody probably wants to know this, but I actually got my period on our wedding day. So, um, um, so, um, so I was on placebos and then like the, that day of our wedding actually was like my last placebo or the next day was the last placebo, but regardless, I didn't really take those ones cause it's just placebos anyways. It's just so you can get, so you can still get used to taking a pill every day. Um, so anyways, and then I didn't get my period. I got my period. I think I actually, that's right. I didn't get my period at all. Like the next month. So in September, I didn't get my period because we got married in August. Um, so September I got my, I didn't get my period that September. And I think I might've got it in probably like December, I'm sure or something like that. Cause I didn't get it for a while. Cause I was just like, Oh, I heard that your body can takes a little while for your period to come back after being on birth control. So, and I'm really stubborn and I don't like going to the doctors, so I didn't really bother going. Um, we just were trying to try to conceive. So, we just didn't know in the, in the slightest. Um, so what happened, like, for last, so we kept trying, I mean, so we kept trying. I don't know, this is going to be, like, everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. But, so we kept trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. I didn't go, we didn't go to the doctor or anything. We were, we were probably thinking about going. Um eventually obviously but um like last year because i was really upset when my one of my friends got pregnant with her second pregnancy who actually had her daughter a month before about a month before i had benjamin um so um i was really upset because you know we we're trying for so many years and she's pregnant again and um so we were actually going to you know, look into getting, looking to going into the doctor, um, within like this year, like in 20, in 2020. Um, like, yeah, but we kept saying, oh, we're going to go to the doctor, we're going to the doctor and it didn't happen. And then, you know, we said at the end of 20, 2019, you know, we're going to get our health in order because, you know, I was sick with like, you no know, cold at the end of December and the beginning of January. And then it just wasn't feeling good the rest of the month, pretty much. Um, so anyways, um, when I got pregnant, I guess, I don't really know exactly when I'm going to probably say around, um, May, um, I got pregnant and, um, that's what I'm going to assume anyways. I'm really not too sure when my due date would have been. So, um, because they obviously couldn't tell me how overdue I was at the hospital, but, um, so yeah, I was being upset and everything about, you know, my friend getting pregnant as much as I was happy for her. I was just more so, you know, kind of like mad at myself, I guess, because, you know, like, why can't I conceive? Like, why can't we have a baby already? You know, I want to be a mom. He wants to be a dad. Um, anyways, guys, um, so there was that aspect of it. So then when, you know, we we're, you know, obviously I was pregnant, um, you know, a good chunk of last year and like the beginning of 2020 here. Um, anyways, um. You know, I think around, 
you know when we went we went to bc in like august and like then you know i was like getting out of breath lots and like i was sore and just couldn't like walk very much i was complaining about the heat but i've always complained about the heat so that really wasn't anything new to me um not much changed really besides you know being tired like you know being out of breath walking like 10 minutes so it's like really hard to walk around that time like i don't be, be out of breath i'm not hard to walk but be like be out of breath um and then i would say so like that didn't really really concern me i didn't really think anything of it i didn't have like motion i didn't have like i wasn't like sick in the mornings i didn't have morning sickness i didn't have any sickness throughout the day um i didn't get any cravings that I know of really that would be like you know make me think that I am um or anything like that like I had like my boobs weren't tender or anything like that um I didn't get like that line on my belly like lots of women get uh, excuse me um you know like that line of hair like darker hair I didn't get that um I mean I guess I did have like heightened smell but, like, I didn't get sick from anything, really. Like, you know, I didn't get sick. Um, I mean, like, I got lots of heartburn toward the end. Um, but I'll get more into that a little bit after. Um, but, yeah. So, I would say, you know, um, in November, end of October, early November, um, I, like, you know, my stomach just always felt like I was bloated. And like, you know, always bloated. But then sometimes it would go away and I'd, I'd be okay. And I just thought I was eating too much bread or something like that. So like I stopped eating so much bread, I thought anyways. And like, you know, I wanted, you know, bread or car whatever, right? So, um, um, I didn't, um, so I just tried to maybe stop eating that. And like my husband's like, well, do you want to go to the doctor? I was like, well, no, it's okay. Like I just have like, I think a lot, lots of gas buildup or something. Or, you know, sometimes even like going to poop would help my stomach relieve my stomach but then obviously um so then like as like the months went on just my stomach like only like the weird part like my only my top half of my stomach so like from like half of my belly button half half of my belly button up was hard and like the half my belly button and down was soft so like my whole belly wasn't hard I really didn't pudge out my belly button kind of puckered a little bit like at the top it would like kind of pucker up a bit and out but like my belly button didn't pop out like I didn't get an outie so that was the other thing like you know I didn't make me think but like one day at the end of November early like because my husband's Christmas party is always in November at the end of November usually the last weekend in November um but this time was like the second last weekend I think last year but I can't really remember but anyways regardless I put on this one dress and I thought I had put it on before but I could be wrong I'm not 100% sure but um we um I had on this one dress and I put it on and I was like holy crap it makes me look like I'm pregnant and in my mind you know I'm thinking I'm not and that was probably the first time in my mind I thought it was pregnant and I just quickly put it in the back of my mind because you know going to the doctors before I always got told no took a pregnancy test would be negative and then I still even go to the doctor just to confirm and I get told no. So there's only so many no's a woman can get in her life when she wants a baby. So I just pushed in the back of my mind thinking, oh, she's going to be no. So there's that aspect of that. And then I didn't. So like, like those are like the really, really the reasons why I didn't know I was pregnant. If anyone, in case anyone's curious or people are just like, oh, how don't you know? It actually really does happen. And you know what? Lots of the times um you know it doesn't end up like like me in the slightest where they lose their baby too um i know i have a high pain tolerance as well um which you know kind of is good in a sense and kind of is bad in one sense too so it kind of depends how you how you look at it um because like you know i labored lots at home i was in lots of pain um Lots of women I know wouldn't be able to handle what what like you know what what I was going through, and they'd go to the hospital a lot sooner than what I did, and um, but yeah, so like, you know, that day when I put on the dress from my cousin's husband's Christmas party, I was just like wow, and then even looking at pictures now from his Christmas party, even the dress I wore now that I know that I was pregnant, I can see it. Even when we went to BC, 
I didn't think I was pregnant. I didn't think anything of it. Looked at pictures before. Didn't didn't see anything. I look at pictures now. And of like, you know, if as long as it's like a full full length of me, I'm like, wow. You can really tell I was pregnant. Um But yeah. Um and um so yeah, uh didn't know any any of that in the slightest, but Hey right, guys, um, I'm reaching about 10 minutes here. Um, I, lo I load everything off my phone and everything like from my phone. So I got to stop recording right about now anyways. And I'll continue on with my story. Okay guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.